Everybody on the internet, I'll be your host today. Welcome to my internet show. We're hopping into this Ravnica draft and we're going to do a little, uh, well, a Ravnica draft. So, you know, we have 10 trophies and I think this would be like our 35th draft or something. So probably close to a 30% win rate, I would say. Maybe. What up, RTF dude? Do you want to see my costume from last night's party? You mean, uh, you mean the alien costume? This is closed. My drink was closed. MTG Garlic Bread, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. What's it going to be? Oh, that's a good one. Let's take that one. Oh, yeah, I forgot you're on that old Instagram thing. How dare you? Yeah, this is, this is the best card in this pack by a mile. By an Aurelia Mild. My weekend's all right. Yesterday I uh, hung out, watched some Game of Thrones episodes. Um, Friday I played F and M, and I went two two, much to my chagrin. I realized that Dream Eater is a terrible card. It's not good. I wanted to like it really badly. I don't. I don't though. But I'm definitely going to be posting. I will record a Frank Thoughts tonight, and I will post it on my Patreon page for those interested. Because... <sighs> what a letdown, man. What a, what, a, what a dream crusher. Dream crusher is more like it. I uh, It's very likely I may reuse that that line in the in the video. God, Pell Collector's good, but I'm pretty sure we're just taking Luminous Bonds. Luminous Bonds and a Sky Knight Legionnaire in this pack are pretty good. I imagine this will not make us back to it, make it back to us, but I would rather just have the bonds. Are right, you doing any special co costume draft for Halloween? Probably not. What did I play at FNM? Uh, I played a Sultai list. Yeah, that's a pretty easy bonds. Thank you. MTG Garlic Bread with the sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. What do you think of the Goblin? The Goblin's actually fantastic. Uh, it's not Luminous Bonds caliber. I would definitely take a Luminous Bonds or a Legionnaire over the Banneret, but I think the Banneret's very good. Uh, Integrity Invention also very, very good, so I'm going to take that. These are some good Boros cards we're seeing, so that's pretty cool. Without spoiling anything from your Frank's Thoughts video, it's going to be a podcast, nerd. Uh, what was the issue you found at Dream Eater? It sucks. That that was my issue with it. It wasn't good. So I played it in my deck, and I did not like it. That was my issue. <sighs> this pack's pretty bad for us. We can take a Sonic Assault. It's not very good. Take Heart's like the only card I care about. I'm pretty sure we can get a million two drops. Uh, this pack is just not that good, though. I mean, if you're Celestia, it's fine. But, you know. Selling insane amounts of ice cream. I like it. Get your ice cream on, Matthew. Ari. I got the robot vacuum going in the background. She's having she's having a good time. Uh, take a Skyline Scout. That's a good dude. A solid gentleman. Yeah, we're probably not going Jeskai. We are probably also not going Naya. And we are probably not going Mardu. For obvious reasons. $500 with ice cream? That's pretty insane. Not a Guildgate fan. Deadweight is uh, really strong. I'm surprised there's a 6 pick Deadweight here. There were 5 better cards than Deadweight. I will take this Ornery Goblin though. 
Uh, Blade Instructor is not one of my favorite cards, but it does mentor onto all of your two drops and one drops, so I'll just take a Blade Instructor. And this pack's pretty rough. Maximize Velocity is fine. P pretty late Deadly Visit, though. Not thrilled about that. Or am I thrilled about it? I don't know. Unfortunately, there's no... Oh, yeah, that's good. I'll take a Skyline Scout. Uh, there's no Rakdos or Orzov in these in this set, so there's no real way to combine black easily with uh, with your white cards. Give me that horny goblin. Nope, not doing that. We'll take we'll take Restorer in case we're not a super aggressive Boros deck. I think that's fine. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, literal nothing here. So I'll take a Pax Favor. Literal nothing here, so I'll take a Canopy. These are some really late playable cards coming around. Everybody have fun tonight. Everybody Wang Chung tonight. Have you guys are you guys uh are you guys having fun tonight? Are you guys Wang Chunging tonight? Cause uh you should be. All right. Brand new pack. Let's get excited. Absolutely nothing in here. I'm not thrilled about first picking a Hazda Marshall, but uh, it looks like about where we are in life. Hammer Dropper and Sworn Companions are the only other two choices we'd have here. Quasi Duplicate's good. Artful Takedown is good. But, uh, yeah, we're not doing that. How do I like this new standard format? I think it's fine. Um, the only thing I, yeah, I like Sworn Companions because you can mentor onto them pretty easily, but we don't really have the main mentor guys. <sighs> Maniacal Rage is okay, but I'm pretty sure this will come back before this does. And again, like really good black cards. Someone's getting the bonkers black deck. I do like an inescapable blaze. I'm a pretty big fan of that. Would you say your biggest issue with Dream Eater was that the fact it could not get through your night nor reach the fucking light? Yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. Yeah. Oh, dream eater. I you can get me through. Yeah, that was yeah. That's it. Yeah. Again, not a not an exciting. Oh, Boros Challenger. All right. Things are picking up, ladies and gentlemen. Things are picking up. Eh, fresh face recruits. Okay, that's probably the best pick here. These are pretty straightforward packs. I mean, there's really we don't have much variety here. We're pretty much at the mercy of whatever happens to be in these packs, unfortunately. I guess it's Ledev Guardian. I mean, I don't care about Guild Gates in a two-color deck. I don't need a second color of the culprit. Gravitic Punch is not super strong in... Yeah, I just don't care about Gates, like, in two-color decks. It's just not... They're not needed. I, I, I don't ever want a land to come into play tapped in Boros. I think it's just 2-4. We don't have many 3-drop, 4-drops. Oh, Bodyguard's great. I'm a fan of Bodyguard. Deal. Blaze is pretty dope. I do get it. That's a dope reference. What do we got? Five two drops? Do we want another two drop? Or do we I think we want another blade instructor. Blade instructor is pretty weak with one toughness, but as long as you get a counter out of it, I think it's pretty okay. It's just fine. Hammer dropper came back. Alright, so I think our I think our deck actually picked up quite a bit here. Um not huge Ledev Guardian fan. You kind you kinda suck Ledev Guardian. Uh, I'll take Torch Courier. Actually, I've been 
I've been uh, less hateful towards Torch Courier. That is like a Swolox. Yeah, you're right. Swolox. Which sounds like a sci-fi character. Uh, Fire Urchin is fine. We're not going to play Book Devourer in this deck. I feel like this is almost pushing it. Oh, we got some mentors. Eh, sure. This is a hell of an Abzan sideboard. Wow. Alright. You got it. Mnemonic? Oh, a Conclave Tribunal. That's probably better than Crater Maker and Banneret here. Oh, and a Luminous Bonds? Good lord. Yeah, it's probably Tribunal still. Wow, this pack is stacked. If any of these five come back, I'll be okay with it. We're just taking this. If this is a foil, I'd actually probably take it. I wonder what's that, what, that, what that's worth in foil. Find... Oh, it's worth actually 24 tickets in foil, so... If this was switched and this was the foil, I would definitely take that. However, as it stands, Tribunal it is. True Fire Captain. Yikes, that's pretty good. Rock Charger. Yikes, that's pretty good. I think we take the Rock Charger and hope this wheels. I don't think it will. I think there's probably no chance this wheels, but... Rock Charger is just a much better piece in the deck, unfortunately. Healer's Hawk. Yes, please. Not a super exciting pack there. Dream Weaver. I believe you can get me through the night. I do like me a b -b -b banneret. What's your... Banneret, what's your price? This is a late Luminous Bonds, but I will take it for show. Faux show. Oh, another Book Devourer. We could have like nine Book Devourers right now. I'm just going to take a Locksmith here. Seems fine. We might need one more 2-drop anyway, but I'm pretty sure we can get a better one than a Locksmith. That is just my theory, though. We actually have a good amount of removal for a Boros deck. Double Luminous Bonds, Tribunal, Intervention, and an Escapable Blaze. This guy's pretty iffy. Pernicious dude, eight months in a row? My god. And here I thought you wouldn't be able to, uh, to make your rent this month. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much. Nothing but love. Gird for battle, very, very good. I'm a big fan of Gird for battle. I could, take, I could see taking out the Blaze and just playing 16 lands in this deck if uh, if we get another card that's worthwhile. That We could take out the... I just said take out the Blaze, so I don't, I'm not going to say it again. Yeah, we'll take out a Maniacal Ridge. Someone else can get a sweet late... Uh, Late mnemonic betrayal. I actually made a decent bit of money selling MTG singles on the Ebays. Nicely done. Nicely done. What's your price for flight? Motoring. So we need one cut here if we want to go to 16 lands. I might just take out Torch Courier and go 17 lands. Or we can add something. We can add Maniacal Rage. Because this can also double as a one drop. This could probably be a two or three drop, so I don't think that's actually too concerned. Yeah, this is nice. 
this is a nice boy. All right, 16 land deck. Let's do it. Yeah, well, if we play against Demir, we can board it in. That's why we get two out of three games. We get to sideboard. But I think it's probably better to not flood out with a deck like this than it is to draw a bunch of lands. 5-2 uh, is overrated, really, because people don't talk about the 5-2 very often at all. But, uh, I mean, I'll play it. I don't think it's overrated, though. I think it's just rated. <laughs> I don't think anyone is high on Hammer Dropper. Uh, let's play first. You know what? I'll keep this hand. If we get any mountain, we're pretty okay. What just happened? Daddy Cube, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Ten months in a row. Basically a year. I, I definitely don't think you need 17 lands with a bunch of three drops. I don't think it works like that at all. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Having a red source in our hand would be great here. Yikes. Mountain. Oh boy, a red card. Oh boy, this is how you lose. This is how you lose immediately. Motoran! This dude's getting dead weighted for sure. One time. Let's do it. One time. No? No times? Dead weight. Here it is. No! Oh, I see. Well, this is all very sad. Alright. Shield made on turn four is pretty interesting. <coughs> Yep. Live to fight another day. Any red source. Red source lets us Conclave Tribunal, whatever they play. It also lets us Maniacal Rage. Uh, this this lady. They have three cards in hand. I see. I see. What's this? What's this? I can't believe my eyes. Yeah, this is a 3-3 now, so I think this has actually done its job. Next turn we can attack with Sworn Companions. I see. <coughs> well, that's pretty good. Guess I don't have a board now. Seems good. Well, they kept whatever they had on top, so. I wonder if that was it. Because that's not very exciting. Uh, I'm tempted to actually get rid of this here, but. It's not very oppressive sure Okay. If they want to trade here, I'm totally fine with that.
because they may think that we want to get it off the board, in which case they may think we have a really strong hand. All right, seems good. I imagine they're going to use that this turn, which is probably probably going to take Tribunal. Tribunal is like the strongest card in our hand, even despite not being able to cast these. Like, even if we had a red to cast these, this is still going to be stronger, so... Prey upon. Okay. Is Tribunal our best card because it's foil? I think so. That's usually how I gauge my cards. Are they going to play an Anafenza here? Ooh, an update available. That's exciting. Haha, <laughs> Chamber Sentry for three. How nice. One, two. So they can go red, black, green, blue. They could have actually made this a 4-4. Four, four. That's nice that they play this when we actually have the way to get rid of it in hand. That's good. is really hard to deal with because they can just kill our guys. Twelve long time no see, but has it been a long time? Do you guys remember when we had mana? Red sources? I don't either. Motoran, what's your price for flight? Keep. <clears throat> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. This is where we want to be. Hawk into Scout into Blade Instructor. All we need is one land here. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that hap that happening. This guy's harder to block, so we're gonna play this guy first. Alternatively, we could have played Scout because next turn, if we uh, hit a white land, I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it depends on what we'd hit, right? No. Maybe it doesn't. Okay, well. We have lots of things to do, so. He's like, joke's on you. I want creatures in my graveyard because I have a bomb rare.
Thank you. Alan Zettel, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. I always catch your YouTube videos. Glad I can watch live sometimes. Super impressed with the pronunciation of my name. What if I just messed it up right, right there? Oh, no. One Sunday Frank surprise bug. Josh, thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Oh, look at this little guy. <clears throat> is this where you prey upon? Of course it is. Oh, ne necrotic wound. Sure. Sure. Like you do. Pretty sure we don't attack here. Nice. Nailing it every single time. 100% of the time, I get it right 100% of the time. You know, like you do. Uh, sure. <coughs> oh yeah, get that, get that planes, beautiful. Roll that beautiful planes footage. Pump this dude. Pump it up. Pump, pump it up. How did FM go? A uh, an exciting two two. Two two. We started two zero and we felt good, and then we realized some flaws. Uh, one of the flaws was Dream Eater. What happens here? What could they have? I don't think anything, so I'm going to take a little gamble. Being able to keep Skyline Scout on board and also putting an, an Ornery Goblin on the board is pretty good. You lied about dating a ballerina? It's messed up, man. Yeah, I don't care about that guy. Gonna get rid of your gentleman, do da, do da. Gonna get, We could also put this guy on the board and then paid one, two, three, four, and and attacked with one less guy. But this feels better because we're mentoring. So we're putting them to six. Oh, I think they just F six their turn. I'm not sure if it was intentional or not, but uh, here we are. And they've scooped. So that's pretty good. I think that was a re call of the culprit might be better than like hammer dropper here because they do have. Uh, but we saw both Dowser and we saw what could be a sizable chamber sentry. <clears throat> but I'm not sure. Hammer dropper could just be good. I mean, it's not great. We also have this. We also have a bunch of stuff. <clears throat> we have double luminous bonds and a conclave tribunal, so I don't think we really need the call of the culprit. Can you believe mono red and mono blue aggro were the top two decks today at the um <clears throat> I can probably believe that. Froggy went a cordon and a heated ride a crumbo. Froggy went a cordon and a heated ride a you want to play the white creature here because next turn we can't play the white creature and play take heart if we want to um so we want to if we have a limited number of white sources we want to make sure we play the white cards each turn i mean i'm pretty sure it's it's likely that we're just gonna play bodyguard next turn but mentorin makes me feel good i think we already said that but it's okay we can say it again say it again <clears throat> oh man, Beetle Boy. Those Beetle Boys are at it again. Alright, so now, now we have no mana issues whatsoever. I'm just going to play Bodyguard and attack for one. <clears throat> Next turn we can play 
Uh, Luminous Bonds and Take Heart should keep our team alive. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? <clears throat> Mentor makes me feel good. <clears throat> One thing we can do is put a Maniacal Rage on here. No, I don't want to do that yet. I think we just make this guy float. Attack with everybody. Keep pumps open for this guy. This is definitely worth uh, <clears throat> two for wanting, I think. Yeah, because I kind of want to kill both these creatures, so I'm I'm fine with that. Because next turn, being able to just put Maniacal Rage on either of these guys and attacking for six is very good. Yep, that's also obnoxious. One little damage. I see. So, remove X counters, deals X to one target. So we can actually Monaco Rage here and just keep it alive. I mean, it forces them to probably kill this guy next turn. But this also puts him to eight, which is nice. <clears throat> I think you left a shiny nickel in your pants pocket that's in the dryer. That's just how dryers work, buddy. Listen. Listen. Yep, that's what we assumed you would do. And you can't kill this with Necrotic Wound. You can't kill it with Prey Upon unless you Prey Upon with this guy, which you probably will. I'm sure that's what you'll do here. Nope, another Hired Poisoner. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> I think we should have played Torch Courier first and attacked with it, but I'm actually... I'm okay with not having done that because I like being able to block hired poisoners if they attack. Okay, that's fine. It's not exciting. And wow, Healer's Hawk with the Maniacal Rage wins the game. How many islands would you play in this deck? Well, let's see what you got here. One, two, three... It's probably three. Three is probably correct. Um, I think two is too few. <clears throat> or no, two, two, two islands is fine. Because you also have Guildgate and Gateway Plaza. I think this is correct. I would, I would definitely... Tr oh, and you also have a Uto Urban Utopia. Yeah, you have a ton of blue sources. It might be one, actually. I didn't see the Utopia. Because you have plaza. The problem is you want th you want a blue source by turn three, so that's where I'm. Uh, like, I would also see if you had anything else to replace the trooper with. I like most of the other cards in this deck. I think the trooper is your one weak spot.
Island no good. What does that even mean? You can't have Demir Mastermind in your name and then say Island no good. That doesn't even make any sense. Why no chicken emote? You know, that's a good question. Let's talk about that. Oh, look at this, sweetie. This is a good one. JK, it sucks. Mulligan. Oh my god. This is the worst hand. The first hand was great if we just had a, the colors we needed. You know what? It's fine. I'll keep it. If we can hit a white source, we can go turn two, turn three, turn four. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. Come on, White Source. We did it. We're so good at this game. Oh, but they have this guy, so that's cool. Great. Great. We went to five, so this guy's 100% hitting us just to make sure. Oh. Well then. Maybe not. Yeah, so we're just going to play this. Like, maybe they think this is the land or something stupid. I, it's probably not worth taking, maybe. Maybe that's their... <laughs> we go to five, and their first two plays are pilfering and burglar rat. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, boy. Land. Come on. Come on, buddy. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Lordy. Well, now I have no cards in hand, so. Oh, yes. Do this for sure. <sighs> Trade with that guy every day. And everything in our hand, or everything in our deck costs four, nothing costs double white, so we can presumably cast everything we draw. I just hope they don't have a, an answer for Aurelia. Uh, Artful Takedown doesn't kill her. Necrotic Wound doesn't kill her. They cannot Deadly Price yet. They can Price of Fame, but it's uncommon. Oh, Boston makes me feel good. I think we just want to attack with Aurelia. I mean, we can mentor onto this guy, but they're going to trade anyway, so there's... Like, if they have Plague Crafter, I really don't want to get Plague Craftered out. And I'd rather just have a 4 damage in the air. I don't know what Jank Jund is, so I can't tell you. Bloodbraid Elf Jund is just solid. Like, you know what that is. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good does Bustin make you feel? Uh, probably between a, between a 6 and an 8, depending on the day. They're not doing anything. This is great. Oh, we definitely have to play this, is the thing. So we're probably just going to play it on this guy. Because um, if we don't play it, like they just kill us, so... Yeah, it's still going to be you, but we're probably going to attack this time because if they want to trade with a house guild mage, that's totally fine. And if they don't, they're going to take a lot of damage, so. 
that's pretty okay with us. Although I do feel like they have Plague Crafter in hand and we're going to get wrecked here. Especially because they can just sacrifice this guy now. Okay, a green. Does this have to be... Yeah, it's okay. Thank goodness it's a sorcery, so... Alright, well, we're just going to keep on swinging. Boston makes me feel good. I don't know what's happening right now. Dream Eater. All right. It's pretty good. I am just going to replay this, but... So I have two cards in their graveyard. Let's see how many they uh, toss in the trash can. <sighs> They're like, I'll keep all four. They kept all four. Wow. Well, that's going to be... Turn the volume down on your dryer. You'll just have to deal with it. You'll be fine. Make sure the other mic wasn't on. After this match, I'll go check it out. Yep, that's what we're afraid of. All right, well, that's pretty much the end for us. We can't beat that. If we had an Inescapable Blaze in the deck, we could have. We're going to draw Conclave Tribunal. We get rid of this. Then we draw Maximize Velocity. I mean, we had a chance, but it's very slim. Especially because they kept all four on top, and we were at a pretty sizable disadvantage that game. He's too busy drawing his nickel collection. Wow, do you guys... You guys don't have, like, buttons and... and things on your clothing when you put them in the dryer? You guys have just absolutely silent dryers? That's crazy. It's also not my laundry, just to be clear. Do you think only robots have buttons? Wow, that's robotist. Holy smokes, man. Hashtag not all robots. Oh boy, another another one of these jobbies. Yep. Triple three drop seems bad. But it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. It is what it is. Yikes. Would have loved a two drop here. I don't think we're actually going to win this match now. I feel like we are uh, surprisingly far behind here, especially considering that a little dirt burgle. I was reminded how much I like Mazda when I was listening to her extreme int intro. I couldn't for the life remember why I haven't listened to it in so long. So Pons as long as it says, what's this weird crappy? Oh, God. That's awkward. Where's the... What's that about? Um, Bodyguard into... Do we just gird for battle here? Or we can actually play Tribunal here. Get rid of this guy, which I think is probably pretty good. Because it lets us attack for free next turn. Theoretically. Tribunal the Rat. You know, I'm not sure if that's a solid strategy. This is where they artful take down both of these guys, and it's going to be extremely sad. Because they never don't have it. Yep. Like you do.
just gonna play all our lands like they have things like burglar rat and uh the other dude i guess the other dude's fine like if they if they hit us with the other dude it's probably not gonna matter because they're not gonna they can't take lands i don't think so also my door was closed and then hunter escaped through the door so he opened the door when he escaped through the door i think he's probably just back in here again he's a real mover No blocks. They have five cards in hand. We have none. Oh, yeah. This is going to go well. It's going to be Maniacal Rage. Ready? Okay. Sure. Welp. Uh, Hunter cannot open it himself if it's all the way shut. It was partially shut. I think he heard his name, so now he's coming over here. Seems good. <sighs> well, here we go. No haste, unfortunately, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Huh. 3 2 and a 2 1, and you want me to block. Actually, I have no idea what you could have here. Necrotic Wound, maybe? That wouldn't do it, because then you'd have two creatures in the graveyard. Atrata. You know what? Why not? Yeah, Artful Takedown, uh, number three is my guess. But here comes uh, Dream Eater. Yep. Take five. They could bounce our Tribunal. That seems good, right? <sighs> yep. Do you like a Trot in Draft? Yeah, Trot is great in Draft. It's a removal spell that deals three damage. And it's also a sizable body, so you can block. Yeah, so we have to presume they have uh, Artful Takedown in hand, otherwise they wouldn't have made this weird attack into Aurelia. Uh, they haven't shown us any cards that... So, like, their last card has to be just Artful Takedown or some kind of removal spell. Yep, like you do. Seems good. All right. Well, barring any mana issues, I feel like our deck is powerful. However, when you have to mulligan to five in game one, and then you... Uh, I think we have to mulligan in game two as well, did we not? Game three? Was that game... What game was that? What, what time? What time is this? Uh, see, this hand is great. This is what we want. I prefer to be on the play, but, you know, I'll take it. I want to be your sledgehammer. Don't you call my name. Okay, five lands is more than I'll ever need. I'm um, good now. No, no, no need for any more. Thank you.
I'm not going to block here. Because if they're attacking with this guy, they got to be pretty scared of our fresh face recruit. Oh, that's good. How nice. I want to be the sledgehammer. Yeah, he's very good at... It's got to be the, bo the bodyguard. I don't know why you're even thinking about this. Just take the bodyguard. It's very, very good. There you go. You did it. Yeah, another land. Phenomenal. Playing 16 lands. Draw six, four, six lands, four spells. Seems reasonable. Oh, interesting. So, Targaryen doesn't untap, sure. I don't know what pump spell you could have here, but... I guess you have one. I really don't... Oh, Dazzling Light, sure. I guess. I guess! Oh yeah, kitty cat's really loud. Yep. What? That's a copy machine. That's not even a dryer. Oh, a Gorgon. I mean, again, if you want to trade your house guild for an Orny Goblin, it's fine. It's not great. <laughs> okay, we're not in dryer mode only mode. This is not happening. This is not even a thing. Oh my god. Oh, they did not want to trade for that. Shut up and take my money. Fascinating. I watched so many YouTube videos to get me through my work day that I feel like I owe you money. So money. Alizettle, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. And the resub today. Everybody wins. Well, I win mostly. I assume you win as well because you wouldn't be donating if you didn't feel some form of winning. But either way, appreciate it. Let's see if you want to trade. This is where they tap down this guy, at, at least for the turn. 
you're part of this world whether you like it or not. That's true, I guess. I can't really argue. This is an interesting trade. It's not a trade. I have a second dazzling lights in my hand. Here we go. Or are we... Oh, we're surveilling. Okay, this is just a trade then. Seems good. <sighs> I wanna be... A sledgehammer. Boy, this is taking a while. Another one? God, they never stop coming. Did they put this in the graveyard? Or did they use it? No, they used it, didn't they? Back to the rooms and get down running and it makes sense on the lift of fun. Maximize velocity on this one. Man, our uh we could really use a sure strike in this deck. Oh, you have things, that's great. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Necrotic wound. No. Okay. You're gonna let me activate it first? What's happening? He's like, all that you used, I'll pay all you pay the two mana, dummy. <laughs> So much to do, so much to say, so what's wrong with killing your dude, yeah. Oh, there you go, you figured it out. You figured out the correct play instead of, uh... Yeah, let me pay for it so that I don't have mana to do. That's good. I like that they were like, I don't know if I should do this now or should I wait? Yep, just gonna take two here. Oh my god. <sighs> sure. I guess that's my fault for uh, playing a guy pre-combat. Why even do that? I don't know. There's no real reason to do that. Am I excited for Bohemian Rhapsody? Yes. Yes, I am. Very much so. Alexa! Stop! Alexa! Stop! This is this is torturous. You got Alexa going on in the background. Hunter is walking. Around. I can't. I have to talk really low now, or else she's gonna hear me. Well, this thing shuts down our entire deck. Gumby, what's going on? Good seeing you. Hi, how are you? Are you just gonna walk around? You're just gonna walk in and out of the curtain? Just keep making a move? Because you don't know you don't know what to do with yourself because you're a dog and you don't know how how hobbies work, so you can't really do anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just to say so what's wrong with moving the bag They have one card in their hand. Alright, well. I think it might be worth killing this guy. Does Hunter have his Hunter X Hunter license? No. He doesn't even watch anime. If that's, I think that's an anime reference. 
Oh no, they have one card, right? Come on. I guess it's two for one, but this guy doesn't... This guy needs to get out of the way, right? Let's see if your last card is going to wreck us. It didn't, I guess. Would it be possible to get Hunter to sit in Mike Beach chair and provide humorous commentary such as bark, 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 grr? I don't think so. Uh, he's not, in case you guys didn't know, he's not a very uh, stationary dog. He does not sit in one place very well for long periods of time. Who cares? Ten months in a row. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it, buddy. Yep, deadly visit. Seems good. Joke's on you, this guy's coming in. Yeah, I'd be very okay with an Aurelia here. I mean, I don't have anything on board. I'd also be okay with just getting rid of this guy. But, I mean, a sixth land is actually perfect. That's exactly what we wanted, I think. So we just attack with this guy, and then they make sure it can never... Never hurt us again. What did they take damage from? I thought they were at ten. Sure. Oh, getting aggressive. Is Mike be out working off his rat dead? He's out working, but I don't know if he's out working off his... Oh, they had a blood operative. Fantastic. That should make this game significantly harder to win. Hunter, stop! Seriously, dude. Really hard to pay attention to what's going on when, like, literally everything in my environment is out to get me right now. Josh, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Frank, love the content and all the mics I've met by watching you. Going back down to four. Okay. Go. Stop. Oh my god. This is so ridiculous, dude. Remember I had Prime while I was in the bath and thought about you, so here's some love. Oh, man. That's the best. Where do you get your hair did? Looking for a new play. Um, I go to someone that I've gone to for years. I assume you live near me? Or in Florida? Near my area? That would be my guess. Yeah, I assume you're actually going to surveil here to get this guy back and pay three. Which means you go to three. Sure. Feeling like I would be coming back. Sure, lots of life linkers. 
Yep. Keep the healer's hawk. Keep the healer's hawk busy. That's actually not terrible. Put it on you. This guy becomes a two. Trades with everything, unfortunately. Could put it on the small soldier, but then they just literally block with a uh, blood operative. We can't make this guy large enough to mentor. We could put it on the hawk and then just kill them. I think we can just hold this. Perfect fits. Thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You're the hero this chat needs, not the one we deserve, though. My hair person has been getting worse lately. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. All right, that's cool. I'm glad you did that. Do you guys have, like, utterly silent dryers? I don't understand these, these dryer comments. Like, it's just a dryer. There's jeans in there that have buttons on them. There's shirts. There's, like... I don't know. Like you guys are making it seem like you you've never had dryers before. Like it's just like everyone else has like soundproof dryers. Is that not true? Do you guys TJ, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. Might as well just keep this guy tapped down. You got nothing else to do. That's good. There we go. There we go. That's the ticket. She don't tap. She got the vidge. I guess it's just closer to you than I thought I would have. It's literally like it's right outside this door. Yeah, definitely not blocking this guy, but the fact that you're attacking means you probably don't have a way to deal with Aurelia. So that's cool. Double down with my little bird friend. Okay. Well, we want to give her vigilance because I really want to keep attacking with Aurelia. Although this is eight in the air, so. Hope you've got it. Hope you don't have it, actually. That's, that's really what we're saying. When I say I hope you've got it, it means I hope you don't have it. Because at a certain point, you should run out of instance in your deck, right? Oh my god, we won the game. We won the game against those nerds. This is where I'm tempted to bring in an escapable blaze. 420 inescapable blaze it. My dryer is in another ha another building across the street, so I never hear it. You guys don't have a washer and dryer in there? That sounds like that sounds brutal, man. Probably take out Torch Cur. I don't think we're gonna go to 17 lands. I think we're fine at 16. Especially on the draw. Yeah, so I definitely... I lived in a house. My, the first house I moved out of my parents' house, and the first house I rented was a duplex, and we did not have laundry in the unit. And, like, just that experience alone uh, made me very much, like... Never again. 
it's just too inconvenient like having to pile all your clothing in the car um like taking it there waiting a couple hours to have your laundry like waiting just a couple hours to, to do it like it's just a whole chore it's a whole to do um i like having this uh this hand is very good i'm gonna keep this on top because we do want a fourth land Also, these two is a is a nice one two no one two puncherino. Do we dead wait it now, or do we wait? Just wear your clothes in the shower. Yikes. Yikes. This is good. Turn three bonds, turn four either hammer dropper or pump or a challenger is nice. What's up, Helheim RPG? You could deadweight this guy now. My biggest issue is this is a very grindy match. Wow, if that's not telegraphing uh, something. It's got to be dead weight because uh, otherwise they would have just... Like, they're not going to run their 2-2 into my 2-3. It's either dead weight or, like, dazzling lights and dead weight. Okay. So I almost like Gerd here because if they do have a dead weight in hand, this also makes it so they can't really block here. I don't care about bonding either of these guys, so I think we're actually going to do this. This is a nice little six damage. 585 bones? Good lord, Matthew Ori. Hmm. All right, hammer dropper is down. Hammer dropper down. But this means you probably can't play anything else that's really valuable this turn. What's on the agenda after this draft? Um, I do want to do an arena draft before the end of the night. So I might do that after this. I do have some tacos cooking as well. So I got I to gotta check on those bad boys after this. Yeah, all right, that's fine. Oh, wow. That's an aggressive attack. They know about this. We're going to use this. Actually, do we even do that? We want to actually just pump this guy and make two 4-4s. Four Like, we're dealing an extra two points, but they're gaining the two points back, so it's kind of breaking even. And we get to keep Luminous Bonds in hand. Like, if you want to take eight and go to six here, that's... Yeah, all right, I'm fine with that. Burn, 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 burn. <laughs> it 
in before people start asking to watch you eat tacos on stream. Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting for it. I just assume they have um, artful dodge in hand, which makes this a pretty a pretty solid clock. We take five, they artful dodge our whole board, or maybe they don't. Oh, they don't. Oh, that's fascinating. But they know we have this. Hmm. I'm a big flour tortilla fan. See, so if we get rid of this, we actually can put them to one, which is pretty crazy, and it might prevent them from attacking. I'm going to do that. If we drew take heart, we just win this turn, I think. <laughs> I think that's how that works. Go to three. All right, well, they have two cards in hand. They could always tap down one of our guys, which they probably will do. Probably this guy. That was a good draw, because now we can play two things. And they have to block here, and whatever they block dies, so... I think we're in good shape. Um, okay. <laughs> Deal. I don't think there's a pump spell in blue or black that can actually, yep, that was pretty good. Just eat the, eat the child of night with the ornery goblin. That seemed like a misplay. I guess not. Okay. Maybe I don't block. Yeah, that's fine then. And then they keep one of these guys tapped down again, and then we get to eat another guy, and then it's just... Yep. So basically we traded a Vapors and a Child of Night for an Orion Goblin and a Blade Instructor. Seems fine. Yep. Tap that guy down again. They put two cards in the graveyard from the Mephitic Vapors as well, so... And we can pretty much block anything they play here. If they want to spend two to keep this down, they actually only have three. Yep. That's actually great for us. Because there's no way they block that's profitable. We get to kill, but they have to block both guys and they we just get to kill both guys, so. So now they're in top deck mode and they only have, yeah, this is basically over. All right. One drop and two drop. Doing the doing the Lord's work here.
Yeah, Ritual Set would be pretty good. Uh, I don't think they're going to top deck it, though. I'll be honest with you. They also put... Uh, well, they put Whisper Agent. They put Whisper Agent in the graveyard, but they didn't put a second card in the graveyard. They put one on top, one on bottom. Yeah, they put, put one card on the bottom, and they put one card on top. So whatever they have on top, they decided gets them out of this mess, and I'm not sure what it could be. Is it Ritual of Soot? That'd be super weird. Oh, we just win the game, I guess. Why would you keep a card on top if you know it's not going to get you out of that situation? That's super weird. I don't know. Either way, if you're watching on... Hunter? <laughs> if you're watching on Hunter... Oh, my God. Anyway, if you guys are watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just ending the YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. You can also check out meundies.com slash franklaport if you want 15% off. Super, super comfortable micromodal underwear, lounge pants, socks, shirts, whatever you guys want. They have Star Wars branded things. They're awesome. MeUndies is great. Free shipping and free returns. Check out the affiliate link in the profile below. Slam the like and subscribe buttons. I think I said that. I don't know. I'll see you guys next time.